Welcome back to Set Streets and Eats, guys. I'm Chris Bauer. I am in Wyoming, Pennsylvania, in front of Chuck E. Cheese here. Um, this has a Studio C stage. I can't remember exactly which one. We're going to go in and find out. Um, I was just passing through Pennsylvania on my way to New York and thought I would stop and check out this Chuck E. Cheese and check out their stage, and more importantly, what art they still have on the walls. I've got my mini Super Server Station hockey jersey on. Thanks again, Damon. And we're gonna go see this together, so I hope you guys will join me. Let's go see it. Alpha stage, and of course, for Bootacular, Chuck is dressed as Dracula. Um, he's on random movements, obviously, but he's looking great. And the pizza time clock is still here. We've got Apple uh, TV. There is no pizza phone. Looks like that got salvaged. And Bird's gone, too. So they've definitely taken a few pieces off of it. But uh, for the most part, everything else is still here. Stage looks pretty good otherwise. Um, you know, it's still got everything. Still got the screen behind the ticket blaster with the zebra trim, the big Studio C. So everything else looks pretty good with it. Um, pretty good sized store. Still has all the lights set up. The on air and applause boxes are still around. So, um, yeah, yeah, still looking pretty good. We're going to go around and check out some of the art. So I got excited as soon as I came in because I saw two of my favorite pieces right off the bat. Showbiz Pizza Time Inc. 1993, but this is either a reprint of it or I'm not sure what because the date is gone. So I don't know if they cut it way down so like it was blown way up uh, or if this is not a print and it's an acrylic. This is an acrylic. Okay, so I'm not sure what the difference is between the print that's behind glass or the acrylics. Uh, comment below if you guys know what the difference is, if they came later or if they were just reprints. Um, not 100% sure, but that's one of my favorite pieces. Uh, I have loved that uh, ever since I saw it for the first time. Uh, definitely love that piece. I love the old drive-in movie theater piece. Of course, the must-see TV pieces are phenomenal. We got CEC World News, the Chuck Field, one of my favorites, Chuck Trek, and Friends, all from 1998, which is awesome. Of course, Chuck is now performing on video only as Count Dracula. But at least random movements are on. It's good to see him at least moving. Right. Over here by the arcade, we've got war halls. All four of them way up on the wall. Usually they're all out lower, so that's kind of cool. So over on the other side of the room is my other favorite piece. This one actually has the date, the 93 Showbiz Pizza Time Inc. That's where the gang goes see Hello Dolly on Broadway. Love this piece. Definitely one of my favorites. Again, it's on the acrylic. Um, piece always awesome and of course they have the Elvis piece I first saw this at the Tupelo uh, store which of course is the birthplace of Elvis so that's where it should be and then over on this side of the store they have the CWO and the err -er, the ERR -R. Um, so yeah they got a pretty much a full set uh, they don't have the X-Files one but they got all the rest of those Pretty cool. Another unique thing, definitely old, is they have this inside. This is not stuff you see much anymore in here. In fact, I can't recall if I've seen these in the store. Usually, of course, this is the trim on the outside. Now, of course, these definitely used to be in the store, but most of them have been remodeled out. But they still have the wall hangings inside the store. 
Definitely reminiscent of uh, old Northridge in the store. Those look pretty awesome. Down the bathroom hallway, we have the Name That Cheese. Again, another older piece. Um, very pixelated as well. Then we have the 99 hockey piece and the soccer piece. We have the old Chuck and Helen bathroom piece. And then the old Jasper headshot. And I mean the old one. This is one of my favorites. Not the one with the googly or the uh, uh, reflective eye, but still one of the old, old ones. That's pretty awesome. Then over by the drinks, we have the Old Pasquale, uh, Old Pasquale postcard. Actually, it's even bigger than the postcard. It's a lot longer, actually. That's interesting. I'm not sure. Comment below if you've seen this one before. I'm not sure if I've seen this one before. I'm trying to remember the Pasquale postcard. I guess it was this one. This seems a lot more elongated. That's interesting. And then, of course, the other one from 93, which would be the the gang's vintage photo in the Old West garb. I love the old bowler from the uh, Pizza Time Theater days. I love this photo. It's really cool. Cool to see it in the store again. Looks like their store is fully stocked with all three sizes of plush. Lots of other Chuck E. Cheese goods. Looking good there. Got all the old yellow trim and wall hangings. Over in the arcade. We got, looks like mostly juvenile mouse tokens. I'm trying to see if I see any adult mouse Chucky tokens, but looks to be all early 2000s. Lots of 06s, 09s, and the like. Not seeing any other older dates that are jumping out. Normal mix of the games. Oh, this is a game you don't see too often. The Pot to Win, where you punch the clown in the face. Uh, which is a great game. I think we should always punch a clown in the face. I think we would all agree with that. section the normal stuff we got Barney we got Chuck high five Chuck and of course I just saw this at the Montfort store with Matt's franchise this is the second place I've seen it it's always funny and then it's right here it's always funny when I say I haven't seen anything before or I've only seen it in a few places as soon as I say that about anything and the Chuck E. Cheese, I start seeing it at every Chuck E. Cheese. It never fails. Every single time it does that. So Chuck is a 32M bot here. He's got on the beach shorts under the cape, you know, as he does. He's in great shape. He's got a basketball he's hiding down there. I like that they put the trucks up on the bridge. It's got traffic on the bridge. I wonder what happened to Bird and the pizza phone. I'm gonna guess somebody got a cool souvenir. What happened to him, Chuck? Did you sell them off? Be honest. Blink if you did. Oh, out of the blink. He did. I knew it. Don't look away. Well, I'm gonna get on out of here. I hope you guys enjoyed this stop here in Wyoming, Pennsylvania. I'm going to push on toward New York, but uh, this is a nice little alpha stage and uh, don't know when they're going to get the remodel, but they got some awesome art. So whenever they do and you see a dumpster out front, get to diving. <laughs>
because man, this art needs a saving. And uh, I don't ever bring this up enough anytime I see this Elvis piece, but so cool to see the bowler. Always love any nod you can to find old Pizza Time Theater nods. So good to see. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye now. Up by the front door, they've got a very faded in a black piece from 99. It is almost done for. And look at that vintage piece over the door. That's so awesome. Later, Chuck. Ooh, and instead of a token out here, we got the old mud headshot. Sassy headshot. Again, that's one of my faves. Later, Munch. Looking good, bro.